Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about my Louis Vuitton desk agenda that I modified, that I got modified recently. So here are the scraps. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I may be keeping this for a specific reason and I'll get into that with you in a few sec in a few minutes. So um, when it comes to modification of something that's expensive, I'm not a I don't mind because um, as you all know, this notebook cover that I got, I was actually the first one to move the strap over. I cut it with the exacto knife and repositioned it. So modifying something to fit um, to make it more useful, I don't mind. So I wanted to have a B6 size desk agenda. And we all know the desk agenda is A5 size. So I was searching for someone on Instagram for almost a year. I messaged so many shops and everyone said no. They didn't want to do it because they couldn't reglaze it or they didn't want that responsibility. And then I was um, recommended to um, Custom Shop LA. They're on Instagram as Custom Shop LA, and I explained to her what I wanted. She said yes. At that same time, I did find a few other um, local, um, not really local. It was someone in New Jersey. They were a leather shop, and they said they were able to do it, but um, I went with the Custom Shop LA. Not for any particular reason, but this is who I ended up with. And um, so this is the B6 size desk agenda. Um, it is... An exact rep not it's not a replica it's the real desk agenda but just cut down into a smaller size so basically what they had to do they remove the front pockets and the back pockets and then the 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 basic frame of the agenda they cut out the size for it to be b6 so the work that they did was amazing. They reglazed it, you can tell, and they restitched everything, and it's really, really good. Um, if you didn't know that there wasn't an actual size like this, you wouldn't even know that this wasn't um, done by LV. So this is it on the inside. Um, as far as the work that they do, the cutting and everything like that, it's amazing. I think they did a really good job with that. Mm -hmm. One thing that um, it bothers me is that when I close the cover, it closes like this. And this has been irking me since I got this delivered. Like, I don't even think I slept good last night <laughs> because I was just thinking about it. Um, so, I have to take a moment. When I put the cover in it, when I put the notebook in it, I can kind of manipulate it to go this way because there's something stiff inside of it. But when you take it out, this is how it looks. And this bothers bothers it's bothering me so much like oh my gosh i hope i get over it i mean what can i do um i reached out to them and they said that in order to keep the design and to move everything over they it could not have been cut um even which to me does not really make a lot of sense because if you had to remove the entire inside, all this and this, then you're just left with the desk agenda. And if this is the center and you're cutting a specific size, your cut was off for it to end up looking like this. So with a brand new Stalogy in it, um, it's okay. It closes okay. And with, um, once the Stalogy begins to grow and get bigger and bigger because you know how Stalogies are, it's going to um, be a little bit of an issue. So I'm just going to have to deal with that. And other than that, um, I'm happy that I have it. 
I just really want to get past being sad about the the way it's cut but I don't know what do you think about it um, ideally um, it is a good V6 size and um, I have been using this allergy and basically I had to cut the back of it because it's a little bit worn it was not closing right so I'm gonna show you what I did so I had to cut the back this way I can push it inside further so I can get this end as close to this end as possible to have a good close so <clears throat> excuse me so this is it So if the cover was cut evenly, I wouldn't have to do all of that. There would be no issue at all because this um, spine or whatever you want to call it, this curve on the desk agenda is big enough where you can fit like a big notebook inside of it. So had they cut it evenly, I wouldn't I would be able to fit anything in here without a problem it wouldn't I wouldn't have to worry about pushing it down um, <clears throat> it would already just be it would be perfect so I'm a little sad about that um, I'm sharing with you because I sh you know I've been bragging about not bragging but like sh um, talking about my planners I missed them I did miss them I'm happy to have them back I'm just a little um, disappointed in how this looks. I mean, you never buy a cover anywhere that looks like that. And if you're working from a canvas that is even, where this is directly in the center and you have to cut a smaller size, there is no reason for it to look this way. So had it been another, um, almost another inch or half an inch, this, instead of them putting it here, they could have just put it here and it would be even and it would be like I don't know do you do any of you um so make any leather goods or even regular goods what do you think so I had this stupid idea I don't know how it's gonna look really dumb I always tend to mess things up after I if I don't like something it's gonna bother me forever that's just how I am, especially when it comes to my planner, because you know I love my planners and I'm and I'm always in them. So I want to make sure it's it doesn't have to be perfect, but I have to love it and not have an issue. So I was thinking to make a pocket in the back <laughs> to add this part to it. I don't know, but um I mean, obviously we can line up the monogram prints like that. And then it would be even with this. I have the extra, then it will look like this. It could be a little pocket here. I don't know. I don't know I'm gonna sleep on it again and think about it so I'm like so then how would this look with this you know mark here maybe we can put something like this <laughs> I don't know help me out what do you think I should do um so that's it I hope you like my new b6 cover um regard apart from the imperfection as far as it closing i think that um their work as far as the stitching is amazing and the glazing they did a wonderful job there but um i did reach out to her and i explained you know that it doesn't close and the ex the reason was because it, in order to keep everything the way how I wanted it that was the only way to do it which to me 
I mean, my daughter sews and I sew and I'm, I've been sewing. I used to sew my doll clothes in my aunt's shop in Jamaica when I was a little girl. My mom was a seamstress and my aunt, she sews. I've been around people who sews. My mother-in-law sews and it just, we just didn't come up with this like, the, to me, I don't know, I'll get over it, but I don't know. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. I'm trying to be nice. I am nice about it. I'm never rude. As much as I'm disappointed, I'm not going to be rude about it. You know, I expressed my concern to her. I did thank her for doing a great job as far as the glazing and the stitching, but I'm a little bit disappointed. It's definitely not even, and there was a way that you could have made it even by just cutting it, you know, an inch over. So, um... I don't know and then I she was also I told her about it and she said to maintain the same setup that was the only way they had to do it and basically you know enjoy your weekend I felt like that was kind of like bye like shut up leave us leave me alone um but I don't know I may get another desk agenda down the road I even looked last night to see if there was any available but um i don't know i'm sad about it thanks for watching my video i'll talk to you i'll see you in my next video bye